Hello everyone, Andy here and today I'm going to help you get your pictures to really stand out from the crowd in this really cool tutorial. It's really fast, really simple and your pictures are going to look great. Alright, let's get to it. I'm going to be showing you today a HDR style effect in Photoshop. A HDR standing for High Dynamic Range Lighting. Um, this is really simple and any of your pictures that you've taken you can apply these effects to um, these stages and you'll get a much much more pleasing really dramatic um, finish to your picture It'll look really nice and professional and like it's really simple so let's get started right um, you've got your picture open now all you're gonna do is right click let's duplicate that layer then we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows and Highlights. Now these parameters can change to your picture but I'm just going to go for something quite dramatic with this picture to really show you the effects. We're going to do this on 50, both shadows and highlights. I'm going to OK that. Then up to Image, Adjustments and Vibrance. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do 50. I'm not going to do the saturation. I'm going to leave that alone just doing Vibrance. Then that is basically it. Now all we've got to do is go to your layers. We're going to change it to uh, overlay and boom, there we go. Really simple, really nice effect. You've got that nice kind of really dark blacks, the nice bright white areas. The colors are really punching. It looks much, much sharper. And you can see the difference if I just, there we go, undo that and put it back again. Really, really simple. I think it creates a really pleasing, really professional photo. Now, what I'm gonna do is, before I finish this video, just delete that. Now, what I can do is for any picture going forward, say if you were doing a load of photos and you, you know, of the same day, various forest or landscape scenes, what you could do is create an action for this and this will save you a lot of time. So what you could do is, I've set up a folder, HDR effect, I'm going to click here to create a new action. Uh, I'll just call it HDR, record, then do what we've just done. So duplicate, okay, I'm gonna fly through this really fast for you. Image, shadows and highlights, 50, 50, okay. Back to image, vibrance, 50, okay, and change it to overlay. Then all you've got to do is press stop. Now that's been recorded. So if I was to delete this, let's just say you've opened this in Photoshop. You don't have to do any of that. All you've got to do is click on this and press play. Boom, done. Really nice, really simple. Right, thanks everyone for watching. I really hope this will help you with any of your photography and really make it punch and stand out from the crowd. Um, some of these aspects you could actually use in your videos. Um, it's something that I may do in Final Cut Pro in the color correction settings. I hope this tutorial has helped you. I think it's really simple. I think everyone can do it in literally like a, a minute. It's, it's so easy, but it really makes your picture stand out from the crowd. It gives that really HDR look with just a few simple effects in Photoshop. If you've liked this tutorial, please give me a like. Put in any comments below what you think of this simple tutorial. Maybe you've got some more hints for me. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.